Right, I thought I'd do a more detailed presentation of my uh, chuck box portable kitchen for a camper van. Uh, I think it's also called a scout box, but it's just perfect for me. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. So that's my chuck box and I'll go through uh, each compartment. I think if you watched my previous videos on how I did it, it's very simple, very easy to do. So I had these plastic containers from another project and I thought I need to use them. So I measured up the wooden shelves to go in. So I've got one going across at the top that fitted my cutlery tray in and all my foil. So I had to measure that up and then measure up shelves for taking up that much room so that my plastic boxes could um, fit snugly. Uh, and then on the side, we've got another little compartment there that fitted in any folded up items that I want to put in, which I'll show you in a minute what I've got in there. Now, this took me three days with all the measuring and everything. I just haven't got a head for all this. Um, so at the end of the three days, it was a bit of a dodgy job. A few nails hanging out, all that. Uh, so I had a friend to tidy it all up for me. So now it's perfect. So here we go. Now we've got the cutlery tray and in there, I'm going to pull it out, it's quite snug. I've got all my spoons uh, and stuff. I really want to get in there and show. Right, so the idea behind my chuck box is it's a table during the day. So if I stop over somewhere, you sit at the back of my van and over here, I've got my little side pockets which was just, I just uh, got one of those um, shelving pocket things for the back end of your car seat, cut that up so I could fit my cups in there, my coffee, got out my coffee, and my coffee, and I always get the two in one because you don't have to worry about getting any fresh milk or anything, you can just, just open one of those, I'm sure you've had them, or maybe not, and then We've got the spoons and then on this side woo -woo, I've got my plates so basically what I can do is when I just want to stop over in a lay-by enjoy the scenery I can get my little gas stove cooker put it up there boil a bit of water up um, get my cup put my coffee in it and sit and just sit no problem so that was my mad idea for those bits. I think I'm getting too excited about the truck box and I'm just rambling on. I'm not really going into much detail on how this is made. Uh, you can see I've used drawing pins to uh, stick this on and because this wood is pine wood it's really easy to put stuff in there. So drawing pins work fine and I think they look quite pretty. So yeah those are my hanging plates. And then I walk you around to the other side and I've got my plates hanging off there and that's just with the, um, the band that you get. Measured it, secured it on, tied a knot at the back which I'll show you in a bit so I can put my plates there. And so this is an Ikea box, it's an Ikea box, £19, cheap as chips and it is actually a table. But if you rotate it round, you can have like a working unit over there. So the idea is when I finally get to my campsite, I put the electrics on, I can start doing some proper cooking. So all I need to do is to take the shelving bit off and in my camper van I've got a folding stool which is very handy for a lot of things. Uh, it's, obviously it's purple, like a bit purple. So it's one of those folding stools. What I have to do is open it up, put it beside my. I'll just move things about a bit. Hang on. I'll just move that to the side. Pretend that's the back end of my camper pan, okay? So I get my stool, put it beside. Put it beside my box. Then I get the table top, which I put over here, get the tabletop, and I can place it on top of the stool, 
so it becomes my work surface. There you go, my little setup. And then I need to get my electric cooker, of course. So this is my setup. I haven't finished yet, so I'll show you the ins. Well, my thing is finished. So underneath there, I've got a little cutlery tray again from Ikea. I think they're about a pound. I'm going to put my teaspoons, my knives, my forks, and little condiments at the back for just uh, emergencies. And then besides that, I have my cling film, foil, and some big spoons to cook with. And in this drawer, it's cracked. <laughs> I've got my spice box, got all my spices in there for a curry, eggs, can't go without eggs. And I found these little containers, they're about a pound, containing my clothes pegs because they become very handy uh, if things are not sticking right. Garlic in there, sugar, take the spice box out. Got sugar, salt, and uh, my saccharin and butter would go in there as my preferred oil to cook with then in the bottom drawer i have the saucepan some bowls frying pan and a electric portable kettle uh, my tea cloths my washing up liquid chopping boards and underneath there I've got my two heat proof pads then to the side ooh, I can't see where I'm going got my kitchen roll tucked up in there and my oh, I love these these are mixing bowls let's get the folding up ones so I've got a folding up colander lovely color and I've got my folding dish washing thing so when I've set it up like this I'll have this I'll show you later um, I can just pull out my heat proof um, mat from under there because if I don't things will burn I don't think this wood is that strong so I'll take out my heat proof mat or floral. Uh, place that underneath the cooker, like so. So that's kind of safe, and it'll have the electrics that will all be switched on. I can put one on this side, and I can put my chopping board on there. Get my chopping board out. It's like being a little girl all over again, playing with a doll's house. So I've got my chopping board. I'm gonna put my chopping board there. Uh, I can put the kitchen roll there. So I'm really all basically set up to start cooking. Not that I'm going to do a lot because I like eating out. <gasps> I'll probably just end up making scrambled eggs on it. <laughs> That's what I'll probably end up doing. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. I actually haven't finished. I've got to show you the proper way that I'll put it in the van. So in the van, I've got the hot plate secured to it with one of these bungee jumpy thingies. Um, and the lid would be secured on, it's pretty secure anyway as it is. And I have tested it out on road runs that don't move around and none of the cut would just move around and get everywhere either. Um, but it, I must have made this for about 25 pounds and I'm not sure how much you can buy chuck boxes for. I'm sure they're in there hundreds. But you know, with a few screws and, and a bit of muscle, you can do this yourself. Uh, oh yeah, and please, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making all these videos. And I keep forgetting to put at the end of it, please subscribe. Because yes, I probably will be doing videos on my little travels if I get around to doing it. Uh, and I'd like you all to watch as I go on these little mad tours. And I'm not always this bubbly. 